Thousands hit the stores today for Black Friday, many waiting in lines for hours before getting through the doors. When students come to school hungry, it impacts how they learn. And I spoke with Chief Judge Diane Legowski on this whole matter, and she actually told me that they planned for the worst and actually ended up getting the best. The bill would require the universities to admit students who are in the top 10% of their high school's graduating class. About this part of the field was the only thing on fire, but once it jumped the fence, that's when it really took off. Some of the people walking around downtown Quincy will see this sign in some of the storefronts. Jean, a jury of 10 women and two men is ready to actually hear the case against Curtis Loveless tomorrow morning. This home here on North 8th Street is abandoned, but the property owner is still required to maintain the yard. Now you can actually see the difference on these two yards. And when I stick this ruler into the grass here, you can see that it is already over 10 inches. This is WGEM News at 10, the Tri-State's News Leader. A third year without a budget could give Illinois a new title it doesn't want. Area veterans received help giving them a reason to smile. And Republicans hoping to pass a replacement for Obamacare still have a lot of work to do, but not much time to do it. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Culver filling in for Don Dwyer. Senate leadership want to vote on the new health care bill this coming week, but right now there isn't enough Republican support to pass it. NBC's Chris Pallone reports. Found myself all of a sudden with the news. Other provisions in the Senate Republicans' bill that opponents are honing in on, it no longer mandates states to require coverage for maternity care, mental health treatments, and ER visits, and it will also slash federal funding for Medicaid and provide big tax cuts for people with high incomes. Let you know what Sunday holds. It's going to be another good day. Details coming up. All right, thanks, Kevin. Well, New Jersey residents are assessing the damage after severe thunderstorms roared through the state overnight. The storms brought heavy rainfall and strong gusty winds that reportedly reached more than 70 miles per hour. Trees were uprooted and broken branches littered the streets, causing police to close off several roads. Power lines were also knocked to the ground, and utility crews say thousands of customers across the state remain without power. And after the explosion, it was a lot of heavy winds and a snap, crackle, pop from all the trees falling one after another. Lots of rain, thunder, it's just so much going on at one time, so it's very scary. No injuries were reported. Crews expect it will take most of the weekend to clean up. A small plane crashed into a daycare center this morning at Chico's corporate headquarters in Fort Myers, Florida, killing one person. On this security video, you can see the plane flips and hits the building and then bursts into flames. Authorities say the crash killed the passenger. The pilot is hospitalized with serious injuries. Now, no one was in the daycare at the time. Witnesses were stunned to see the plane go down. As I was leaving, I saw this plane going really low, and when he passed the trees, he swing clipped the trees, flipped over, hit the side of that building, did a somersault, landed in front, and blew up. NTSB officials expect to have a preliminary report in about two weeks, but say the final report can take up to 16 months. Illinois could soon have a new unwanted title, the first U.S. state to have a credit rating downgraded to junk status. S&P Global Ratings has warned the agency will likely lower Illinois' credit worthiness to below investment grade if feuding lawmakers fail to agree on a state budget for a third straight year. Now, that would increase the amount the state will have to pay to borrow money, such as things for borrowing for roads and or financing existing debt. A fire that shut down part of Broadway extension in Hannibal has been ruled accidental. In a press release from the department, firefighters reported the fire was electrical and started in the space between the first and second floor. No one lived at the home, but two people were inside renovating the home at the time. No one was hurt. The home suffered heavy smoke and fire damage. Summer may have officially started this week, but Hannibal kicked off its summer today with the annual Fiesta del Sol. WGEM's Emily McCarter attended the Hannibal Rotary Club celebration and has more on it tonight. Hannibal. Hannibal Rotary Club members say they plan to have the event again next year with hopes to expand it. Coming up on WGEM News. Well, in about 20 minutes, area veterans will be returning from today's Great River Honor Friday. We will check in at the homecoming. And dental work can be very costly, but today, area veterans got help for free. We'll have more on that coming up on WGEM News at 10, the Tri-State's News Leader.